All right, man, I had a sub say, well, the Pistons don't need another guard. They need another wing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't need another, not another wing. They need another big. And I was just like, I don't know, it's at the point where, you know, they starting to flat out over, okay? And, you know, hey, if they can get SAR or they can get the best, you know, uh, four possible, then, um, yeah, man, I mean, go get it. But once you start talking about, you know, best talent available, I think the Pistons are still, you know, I know, you know, a lot of people uh, don't like to hear this, but the Pistons are still in the, in the position where they still got to get the best player available. And that's just what it is at this point. And what I've seen for Cody Williams is something that they're missing. They may, even though, you know, right now Cody Williams is looking to be a, 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 a two, like he got the potential to grow into a, 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 a three. You know what I'm saying? His ability to shoot it, his ability to handle it. And they missing that wing. And I feel like a team like Memphis is missing that, that type of wing. That's all they missing. Somebody that can get their own shot. Somebody that can defend. Um, you know, somebody that can attack the rim. I mean, that's what I'm going for, to be honest. And I understand people saying they need a power forward, but do you reach for one? Do you move up for Alexander Sar? You know what I'm saying? Do you go up there and you try to find one? Find the guy, then he got to be able to shoot the rock. You know what I'm saying? He got to be able to shoot it. He got to be able to defend on the perimeter. You know, he got to do a lot of things. You know, if you can move up and get Alexander Sar, then, hey, I'm all for it. You feel like he the one? You know, if that's the case, you feel like he the one, cool. But going out there, getting that big motherfucker from, uh, from Purdue, like, he's not going to translate, bro. He can, you know, come on, man. That's like the white boy we had from Purdue. Was that where the white boy is from we had? He in Minnesota right now. I mean, come on. Um, uh uh-uh. uh. I don't know what's about to do from uh from Yukon, Klingling, Klingin, Klingin, or whatever. But now you need dudes that's gonna be mobile. I don't know what's about him. Guys is gonna be mobile. They can defend in space, defend the pick and roll, all that. The Pistons are missing a wing that can stretch the floor and shoot. That's what they're missing. They missing a wing that can stretch the floor and shoot. Straight up and down. They missing a wing that can stretch the floor and shoot. Straight up and down. Two of them. A power forward and a small forward. The guy that can get their bucket, put it on the ground. People, they got enough for them. They, got, they don't. A lot of these guys probably ain't going to be here. You know, Jay Nivey probably not going to be here. They don't have they don't have anybody like Cody Williams. The elite defender that that is the, that's the offensive package is that got the offensive package. All he got to do is get the body. We well, got a short Thompson. He's cool, but he can't shoot. You know. So you start to look at the, the best possible talent you can have. Don't look at the position at this point, especially in this draft. Look at the best possible talent. I mean, because you got, you know, you got available spaces, to be honest. You know, when you start looking, or if you like Russell Reed Shepard, don't know who that is. He could play next to K Cunningham if you saw wrong on on, on uh, Jay Nivey. You know, so you got a number of options sitting here. You know, with this roster, you got to understand none of these kids that, um, t- none of these kids Tarzan Lane didn't draft, these not his kids. So, you know, everybody expendable. You know, everybody expendable. So that's what you got to remember. Everybody's expendable. Ain't none of these kids his. So a lot of a lot of a lot of them is building from ground from ground. A lot of this is just building from ground zero. You know. A lot of this is just building from ground zero. So my thing is, yes, they need a four, but you can't just say you can't take a four just to say I take a four. Then you take a four. Let's say you take a four, and he don't he don't pan out and another player blow glow up. You sitting there looking stupid. You sitting there looking stupid. So come on. No, don't do that. You know, so. No, nah, you got to take the best available talent. That's just what it is. 
you know. You know, that's just what it is. So, so. But none, nonetheless, I just think you know y'all sitting there, y'all getting caught up in um, y'all getting caught up in the fact of of oh need like they ain't on the on the need to know they on they ain't on a need basis, bro. Let me say that they ain't on a need basis. They at the ground zero basis. So you can double up, triple up on the position because ain't nobody guaranteed a spot. You know, so you just acquiring talent and seeing, and then you just going to put the pieces together, see how the talent fit. This is a complete rebuild. Now, are there some pieces there? Absolutely. There are some really good pieces there. And he's going to learn what pieces are there and what pieces are not there. You know? So they're going to learn what pieces are there and what pieces are not there. So yo, we got, we got this. We got, you don't know. They don't know what you got. What Jane Borrego might come in. You seen what Monty Williams did. You know, he came in. We like, okay, we finally going to see Monty. I mean, Cade and Ivy play together. Nope, that shit didn't happen. So you don't never know how another coach going to see it. You just never know. You never know how they going to see it. You know, so when we start when we start talking about all that, um just take what you take what you can get. In free agency if you can find the fourth you can't, then hey, it ain't the end of the world. You lost 16 games last year or whatever it was. You know? You can figure it out on the fly, but it's definitely a position in where they need to uh it's definitely a position in where they need to take care of it at, though. I will say that, and I will agree with everybody else about the situation. That is a position that they need to take care of, need to find. But in my opinion, they got nothing but time. They won't be good next year. They could be worse than what they are this year. We don't really know. A lot of things, um, you know, a lot of things got to fall in, got to fall into place for them. So. Um, but hey, we'll see. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.